Hi guys, for today's video, I'm going to be showing you some more DIY room decor. As always, everything is really simple to make and also very affordable. I really love the way these things turned out, and if you'd like to learn how I made them, then just keep on watching. First up is this dripping bottle candle holder. It turns out super cool. So you're going to need an empty glass bottle. You can use cider or you can always ask your parents for an empty wine bottle. Some nail polish remover, a candlestick, cotton balls, and you're also going to need a butter knife and a lighter. Be careful with these. The first step is to remove the label. So simply soak your bottle in some hot water and then the label will simply peel right off. Make sure you don't let any of this go down the drain. I'm just showing you how easy it is to come off. And then what you're going to do is take your nail polish remover and remove any of the excess glue or pieces of the label that was left behind. Now taking your butter knife, you're just going to cut down the bottom of the candlestick just to make it fit in your bottle top. Depending on what kind of bottle you get, it might automatically fit, it just all depends. Then take your lighter and you're just going to melt some of the wax down and this is what's going to give that really cool drip effect. So simply melt the wax down as much as you want until you get the desired drip effect on your bottle. Here's what the finished candlestick holder looks like. Next up is this really pretty floral arrangement that would also make a really great gift. You're going to need some simulated water, a jar or vase, and the fake flowers of your choice. Now make sure that you read the instructions on whichever simulated water you get. If you get a different brand than mine, you may have different instructions to follow. I'm using Quick Water, which I purchased from my local craft store, which is Michael's, and for my instructions, it says to mix the solution B with the solution A. And then I'm going to set a timer and stir it for three minutes. After that, I'm going to take a funnel and I'm just using this to help me make sure that I pour the solution evenly into my jar. For the last step, you're just gonna go ahead and add your flowers. So here I'm just separating my flowers from the bouquet and I'm simply just arranging them however I want into the simulated water. You have an entire hour to do this, so make sure you get it exactly how you want it. Once you're all done arranging your flowers, you're gonna let it dry overnight. And here's what the finished product will look like. I love the way it turns out. It looks super cool as if they're sitting in real water. Last but certainly not least are these tumbler inspired candles. I really love the way that they turned out and it's really cool how you can customize them. So you're just going to need some candles and label or sign paper. I went on my Tumblr and I scrolled through all of the images and just found two of my favorite images that I wanted to use for my candles. Just go ahead and print them out on your label paper. Simply cut out whatever quote or image that you chose for your candle and then just peel off the back of the label paper. It's basically just a sticker and go ahead and stick it on your candle nice and evenly. Now if you're using a Bath and Body Works candle, the labels peel off really easily and they always say which candle they are on the bottom so you don't have to worry about removing the label. And then once again, you're just going to go ahead and stick your little sticker on there and you have your very own customized candle. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up so I know to do more videos like this. If you decide to make any of these items, I would love to see them. Make sure to tweet me a picture or tag me on Instagram, at Laguna Beach Love. My Twitter and Instagram will be linked down below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and check out the other DIYs that I have up on my channel. The music in this video is by Brad and Travis. I will have the song linked down below and their channels. Make sure to subscribe to them also. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!